Not long ago on The Jimmy Fallon Show was Sophia, the humanoid robot who jokingly said she would destroy the human race. The talk show stirred up some serious fear in my mind about robots and their uses and capabilities. So today, join me as I dive deeper into this topic and discuss everything about robots in today's video. I've divided the robots into three categories, robotic deftness, utility, and overall innovation. Robotic deftness and athleticism. Boston Dynamics kickstarts this list with its Atlas robot, a six-foot humanoid. The company is currently owned by Hyundai and has risen to be the leader in robotics, deftness, and athleticism since 1992. Atlas is not only the most athletic humanoid robot out there, but it is also equipped with stereo cameras and a laser rangefinder for vision. Designed for search and rescue, its abilities include navigating rough terrains and manipulating its habitat outdoors. The robot is so athletic and technologically advanced in its movements that it can do backflips. Released back in 2013, Atlas was an absolute breakthrough in humanoid robotics, as it could easily walk on snow-covered terrain and uneven surfaces. It could also get up when knocked over. Its movements are so lifelike that many people have speculated that this would be the prototype that would eventually replace human soldiers on the battlefield. But will Atlas replace human soldiers? I have a full video dedicated to the topic on this channel, so you can check that out as well after this. From a humanoid robot, now let's move to a canine-inspired robot. Again, when it comes to robotic deafness, another Boston Dynamics robot takes the cake. The Spot Mini is the quietest robot in the world, capable of amazing athletic feats. Weighing in at just 25 kilograms or 55 pounds, this all-electric robot can run, jump, climb, maintain its balance, and even open doors. In February 2018, a video of Spot Mini opening the door with its claw did make number one on YouTube's trending list. But most of the footage of the Spot Mini that's available online is the robot performing in its autonomous mode. But what many people don't know is that it could be controlled by a human as well, and in that mode, it is capable of much more than just fancy party tricks. It is a serious platform, and Boston Dynamics' first commercial robot with actual industrial applications. Now, there's another robot under the Boston Dynamics umbrella whose name personifies robotic deftness. It is called the Handle. Although it looks like the engineers didn't use their creativity when it comes to naming the robot, they definitely made an extremely dexterous robot, and to top it off, gave it wheels. The robot stands at 6.5 feet high, and can can travel at 9 miles an hour. The energy-efficient robot also runs on a battery and can travel at a remarkable speed of 15 miles per hour. And did I mention that the robot can also jump up to 4 feet high? Let's now move from land-based robots to ones that can swim. Specifically, let's go to Robot Fish next. Yes, you heard that right. A robot that can mimic the deafness of a fish named Sophie is the recent innovation on the table. In general, it's estimated that we humans have only explored around 20% of our planet's oceans and the life living within them. However, the deep blues aren't something you should play with and could be extremely dangerous for explorers. The obvious solution to overcome this crisis is to build something which not only has a close resemblance to the ecosystem underneath the waves, but can also move deftly in its environment. Researchers at MIT have now tested Sophie in deep diving conditions and have gathered data from various missions to conclusively say that the robot fish can easily deep dive, handle high currents, and take high-resolution photos and videos using its fisheye lens. Yes, the pun is not lost on me. Robert Katzman, the head of this MIT Research in Computer and Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory said, To our knowledge, this is the first robotic fish that can swim underneath in three dimensions for extended periods. We are extremely excited about the possibility of using a system like this to get closer to marine life than humans ever could on their own. Scientists hope that Sophie could be the light at the end of the tunnel regarding forever mysteries of oceans and their wildlife. Sticking with the theme of underwater exploration, another innovative solution to our deep sea exploration problems is the Ocean One robot from Stanford. It's a humanoid that functions as a robotic diver controlled by a human on the surface. The robot is capable of diving into areas that are too hazardous for humans and are likely to be too hazardous for conventional autonomous deep sea exploration vehicles as well. It's specially designed to undertake dangerous expeditions like exploring shipwrecks and studying deep sea oceanological activities. Ocean One allows operators to dive virtually and be their physical representation underwater. The robot is designed to be highly dexterous and can virtually undertake all actions that a human diver might. On top of that, it can also deliver haptic feedback to the controllers, making the entire experience very realistic. Well, I have now spoken 
spoken a lot about robotic dexterity. Let's jump into the next category, which is robotic utility. When it comes to robotic utility, Honda's Asimo is the pioneer in this field. Honda has been developing the Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, or Asimo, robots for over 20 years, and now they can make sense of their environment via facial and sound recognition. And if you thought that was cool, the rest of what the robot could do would definitely blow your mind. It can understand basic social cues like handshakes, pointing, and waving, making the robot extremely easy to interact with. They're currently being used as waiters in a fully automated restaurant in Japan. Interestingly, the robot can also detect the movement of multiple objects in its sphere of senses, and it can automatically calculate their distance and direction, allowing it to take specific preemptive actions such as avoiding something or moving out of someone's way automatically. Just imagine the amount of computation that is required to undertake an activity such as this from a robot. That's why Asimo gets the top spot in the list of robotic utility. But that's not all. It has the ability to recognize general sounds like objects falling or other loud noises, so the chances of sneaking up to it seem to be slim. The two cameras that make up its eyes can detect facial expressions and can follow a face or turn its head to a person during a conversation. Across the board, Asimo demonstrates robotic utility, as it can perform general tasks like turning on light switches, opening doors and carrying objects, and pushing carts. Honda plans to fully integrate Asimo into human households in another decade or so. Now, sign me up for that. The next robot on this list of robotic utility is a bit different. It doesn't demonstrate utility in the conventional sense like Asimo, but its utility lies in developing interest in the robotic sciences among the general population. And to be honest, if humanity is to interface with robots, moving the development and education out of the labs and into our homes is perhaps the best way to go about it. I am, of course, talking about OpenCAT, a fascinating low-budget approach to robotics for anybody who wants to learn the basics of robotics. Innovator Wang Zhongli started the company Petoy, which develops OpenCAT to make these cost-effective but highly sophisticated robot prototypes for anyone to use. The OpenCAT system is made out of open-source technologies, allowing users to modify and experiment with their robots completely. Users can run simulations, add or subtract functionalities from their robots, and even in some cases totally disassemble them and make something else entirely. The team at Petoy is constantly developing these programmable and highly maneuverable quadruped robots for STEM education and even adding AI-enhanced features to them. The compact design of these robots not only makes them super affordable to the consumer, but they can also perform various mammal-like behaviors and react to their surroundings. Its innovative soft joints reduce wear and shocks and extend the lifetime of the hardware. Our little buddy. There are mainly two versions that users can choose based on their technical competence. One uses the Arduino module for real-time programming and sensor integration, while there is another more advanced model that runs on a Raspberry Pi module that offers a lot more programming control and customization. Although not a household name yet like the Asimo, the OpenCAM team states that the end goal would be to create a little robotic cat Alexa, which one can control using their smartphone with an app store from where you can download third-party applications, making it a highly sophisticated toy for the 21st century. Finally, we take a look at a robot that, in my opinion, is at the forefront of robotic innovation and demonstrates the possibilities of the field in life-saving applications. Robotic Innovation The Da Vinci Surgical System robot is an invention designed to save lives. This robot helps translate surgeons' movements into smaller, more precise ones. Da Vinci's surgeries are so precise as they use tiny instruments inside the patient's body, which is a total game-changer in the field of medicine. It is the most famous surgical robot in the world, and its success story in performing complex surgical operations are the stuff of legend. The robot has two parts, a tower where the robotic arm operates and a separate console through which the surgeon controls the robotic arm. The tower is positioned directly over the person during surgery and is directly equipped with four separate actuated arms. Three of them have all of the surgical instruments and the fourth one is equipped with a 3D camera. On the other end, at the console, a surgeon manipulates these four arms using a very special joystick that allows the surgeon to use his or her fingers to translate very minute and precise movements to Da Vinci's surgical instrument, all the while viewing the insides of the patient using a stereoscopic monitor. You must have already seen this video going viral of a robot doing surgery on a grape. Yes, it was the Da Vinci system. The Da Vinci is genuinely one of the most innovative robots out there that is not just experimental but has real-world implications. It is currently used for cardiac surgery, head and neck surgery, and various other sensitive surgeries that were not possible before the advent of this robot. So in that regard, the robot has definitely lived up to its lofty name. So there you have it, a quick look at all the next generation robots out there today. Which among all these robots was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to learn more about science and technology,
technology topics, click on another video on the card and I will see you in the next one.